So it's a great day for some new listing photographs and video. One thing I don't understand is why someone wouldn't use professional photography and videography for a listing. It happens all the time. Um, we gotta make sure it's done right or I can't sleep at night. First impressions matter more than ever in this market. The moment that information and those pictures are uploaded to the MLS, it is blasted out to all of the real estate websites. So let's go get some pictures of a new listing, shall we? I also have a secret weapon that I will show you, and I'm gonna tell you it is a game changer. Buyers are more particular about what they're looking for and what they want to spend money on. The pictures need to be top notch. Every listing needs a walkthrough video that shows all of its beauty and shows how it feels inside. And is a video shoot, do you call it a video shoot or do you call it a, is it part of the photo shoot because it's all photography. I love this part of the process. It's really all about communicating the property the way you want to communicate it to the public at large. All of these photos are just sucked directly into Zillow and Realtor.com and Trulia and all of those other different platforms. I always want the best for my seller. I just want to get it out to as many buyers as possible. And I think having great photography and videography and truly communicating properties of that listing to the public is the key component in selling a property. Portrait or landscape? If you're doing a video, should it be in portrait or landscape? And somebody might say, well, social media needs it to be portrait. Well, I get that because it's the up and down, the full screen. But I'm gonna tell you, I truly don't feel like you can capture how big a place feels or kind of the atmosphere it creates unless you're doing landscape. My secret weapon is an iPad Pro. I don't know what version it is, I'll have to look it up. But let me tell you, this iPad Pro has revolutionized my real estate business because of photography and videography and also as an external desktop or an alternate workspace while I'm still using my computer. You can actually link your keyboard and mouse on your MacBook or MacBook Pro or MacBook Air to the iPad and control it with that keyboard and, and mouse, but not as an external desktop. If you go to my YouTube page, you'll be able to see what I've done with listing videos and inside the house videos that, I mean, are pretty clear. Yes, they're expensive. Everything's expensive. So wouldn't you wanna have the right tool, even if it's expensive? it's going to pay off. Video is still very important, but the first thing that goes out are those pictures. My videoing is actually secondary in nature because you're not necessarily, like videos aren't going on Zillow. Now, yes, they have some options for stuff like that, 360 videos, some different things, but my video is more for social media and for 
communicating that to agents, to buyers, and being able to get that out quickly. Communication is only good if the message is understood. It's crazy how cool it looks out here. Check this out. All in all, that was a pretty good shoot. The trickiest part of these houses is the bathrooms, the small bathroom. It's tricky to get the right angles, especially to keep you from being in the picture, which is funny. I always suggest going around lunchtime between that 11 to 2 because the sun is high in the sky and a lot of times you can get some good looking clouds out there. But this is so beautiful. It's got such a great backyard. So I wanted to make sure and picture it in its beauty, in its natural beauty, that is. Let me know what y'all think. I feel like this video is going to come out really well. First impressions are more important now than they ever have been. Professional photography and videography and media needs to be one of the top priorities when you are listing a property. And the next question you probably have is how do you edit your videos? iMovie is on iPads, it's on MacBook Pros, it's on phones. I would say editing it in iMovie, I do that on my computer using AirDrop to send the files and then put it in there, cut them, you know, do whatever I need to do. And then I actually use the music from the iMovie on the iPad Pro because it has these really cool soundtrack things that basically make it the length of what you want it to be. And it's, you know, stereo track left, right. It's pretty amazing the technology they used to do that. But anyway, that's what I use. Does it communicate the property? That's my question. Does it communicate what I want people to understand about the property? You can be the judge of that. I'm just telling you, pictures and videos speak for themselves louder than any words I can say. Giving people the information up front is one of the most important things we need to do as agents because when people know the information up front, they move quicker. Because you know why? Things become clear quicker. And when things are clear, there's no selling going on. It's just people doing what they know they need to do. And yes, I know I'm intense. I'm being intense to actually reach a goal. And that goal is to serve my clients well.